Liverpool League under 18 match. This will be a beauty. I'm Coggo. Glenn's with me, Glennie. How are you, Coggo? How are you oh, going, mate? Look good, mate. It's um, it's windy out in Midi. This is where we are for the grand final. Toss is about to be done. Which way would you be kicking, Glenn? Oh, I think if you were the first uh, side to win the toss, you'd be taking the breeze because you never know what it's going to do by the end of the day. So the breeze is going to the yeah, Leachville end, yeah, that end? Yeah, yeah Tuka end, end. Yeah. And it's probably blowing towards the four pocket more than the goal. Yeah. So. It's a tricky wind down here, Coggo. They don't call it the Windy Flats finale. So. No, and wrong. have got three sides in today for the Loddon Valley Football Netball League Grand Finals. Uh, this one here, it's good to see the East Loddon guys, the Rams, who are a combination, aren't they, of other teams? Uh, yeah, they're basically a nucleus built out of the, um, uh, the East Loddon Primary School oh, and High School, like yep. the elementary school that goes right through. And the, the players are made up from uh, players from William O'Dingy, uh, Calable and Serpentine basically uh, the cluster. So yeah, and it's been a great concept to form that, 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 that side and yeah. it's worked pretty well. Dog, it? really so happy. the thing is that at the moment where you can hear the wind in the background probably through the microphone as well, it is uh, it's a day that well, we expect, it's called Windy Flats isn't it? It is, so certainly. It's, is. it's obviously here for a reason. Um, young Simon, we're up here, uh, this is what you do in country footy, Glennie, you're up here, we're up here with with the camera and uh, there's only just enough room for you and I, mate. Luckily we know fatter. <laughs> no, that's true. <laughs> um, we've got Simon who's outside the tin shed here. He's going to be doing stats and he's expecting um, to be a little frozen. Oh, we're right. <laughs> just turn that heater up, will you? Yeah. <laughs> so just having a look at things, uh, we'll work out what sides go on which at the moment. Yeah, we missed our, we missed where they went. No, they didn't point today. Oh. That was the issue. And uh, Morong would be Cockahoop. They won it last year in the under 18s. Yes, yeah, they've won the last couple of years. Yeah, they've been the yeah. dominant side, and um, but they dropped to East Loddon in the second semi two weeks ago, and I think they might have put a bit of fire in their belly, perhaps Coggo. Yeah, could too. Different circumstances here with the wind. Uh, the umpires for today's under 18 grand final for the Loddon Valley Football Netball League, thanks to the Bendigo Bank, Inglewood and Districts, yeah. also ASQ. So you got uh, Peter McHugh, Curtis Mangan, and. Um, uh, Neville Cockrell is for officiating yep. umpires. So. That's good. It's great that I wrote all this down and you just read them out. I love that. <laughs> don't worry about the prep. You've well, done. I do a little bit of umpiring, so uh, if, I don't, you if, do. I don't, if I don't know those three, well, I might be in a bit of trouble. Might not, so. Yeah, it could be too. So yeah, I reckon East Lodden might have won the toss. Going on that, um, uh, just noticed a couple of their players who play in the back standing up on the midi end. So yeah, I think East Lodden won the toss and keeping with the Bruins. So. Beautiful, righto. So the umpire about to get set. Sebastian Vitti came in the ruck for Morong. He's a big boy, isn't he, Mason? Yeah, no, he's got a lot of attention. There's his side. We're underway in the under-18 grand final, Long Valley Football Netball League. Toss goes up. It was that man there in hockey. Little tackle was on. Comes back again. Handball out by Ralston. How did he get rid of it? Was there hanging on? No. Now they should get out of jail. Umpires let the whistle go just for now, which is not a bad thing in the first couple of minutes. Tackle was on. They stole it. Tried to get a little kick away. She's messy. You'd expect that, though. Plenty of rock numbers around the ball. No one can grab hold of the thing, though, Glenny. Yeah, no. It's a tight contest, but expect that in the first five minutes. Everyone in the crack, so. So this time, kick goes forward. It was Harris. Numbers are with East Loddon. Good contest there, good tackle. Got rid of it though. Ball comes around the corner. Kick goes forward from Massey Lowry. Bounce will be a bit funny because it should hold up. Little handball over the top was cute. No one could really get it. Now they've got an opportunity. Kick around again. This time by Lowry. Kick goes forward. Run chase on. Gee, I thought he left it behind. I thought, okay, all right, this is all right. I'll see if they can get out of jail here this time in East Loddon through. Uh, Liam Stevens. So it's going to come back the other way. The kick isn't bad. Oh, just set up in the wind. Still, they contest the ground level. Got to get rid of it. He took a bounce and then, oh, yeah, he took that bounce, Glenny, didn't he? Yeah, no, he took a lot and a good tackle there. Yeah, yep. young uh, Sebastian Vinico. He's got a real, oh, we might have an injury there. That's not good. I know he's right, he's up. He's tough. Yeah, no. Actually, we're only making most of the, um, the opportunity here for the first few minutes until they settle. They can press forward here and get a score. Any score to the, to the town end today will be a bonus. So. so a little short kick was just that really short. Put that boy under under pressure. His name's not in the book, would you believe it? Oh. It's going to come back the other way. Little kick goes uh, sideways from O'Neill, trying to find a teammate. Now they come in to meet him. He's a bit messy. Expect that in the final, though. A few nerves out there. A little push away. That was all right. Couldn't pick it up himself. Now they're going after it again. Riley Kurt. 
still can't get a handle on it. Well, the ball's gone about 30 metres and no one's really got a possession. That little handball was OK this time by Bowen. Comes back the other way in big trouble. Yeah, oh, great tackle. You can man. feel it coming. Reese Hayden, he didn't have the peripheral. Anyway, handball's out. Here comes East Lydon through the middle of the uh, Midiamo Recreation Reserve. Good punch at the back there. Some nice work by Adam Rolston. Pick up, just kick away and hope more than anything. We don't have a 26 in the book, but we'll work on that. Anyway, little push and shove. Oh, geez, they're under pressure. Got to get a kick away. Is Mannix. He was caught, but they'll take it across the line. I think he was lucky the umpires on the wrong side yeah. now, I think. So. so we might just check some of these numbers at uh, quarter time, buddy boy. Yeah. That's okay. So up by about to throw it back in. Not the easiest job to do that today. It might end up over the top of his head the last time of day. So good throw, good boy. That's it, that little push and shove goes out. Big boy's got it again, just pushes it forward. Oh, that's got it well. Not in the back, no. Fair enough. Going to come in and I think the umpires today will probably just, yeah, there won't be any too, too much touch with stuff. No, you wouldn't think so. Yeah, so, Rucks go at it again. Liam Stevens got the tap, comes out. Oh, nice work. Here they come again. East Lodden. This might bounce over the top here. It may. Got to get their first little push. They just push that through. Sorry. Nice work at the end by Harry Mannix. Yeah, first score of the day. say he meant it once he watches the tape back because it went to a, a teammate that kicks a ripper yeah. little push umpire said push yeah. kick mark whatever doesn't matter we're on going forward now just streams forward that's a good kick and i tell you what they're on here if we can meet it but bounces all right it won't because it's a footy glen they bounce funny sometimes yeah. this is thompson gives it back turn around the corner yeah. towards goal jack mcmurray's missed it so they're all even yes yeah, scores like i said score to that end is going to be bonus today I was East Lord and now I'd be running it out as far as I could and kicking as long as I could. You surely go straight down the middle. They've got no one in the middle. In fact, they've got one wrong player there, so they're not going that way. So here it comes, out towards commentary side. Gee, it's gone a long way, that ball. It's going to beat everyone, I reckon. Yeah, big. <coughs> 20 minute quarters, Glenn? Yes, they are. Yep. No time off. No time off. So here we are, Midiamo Recreation Reserve, Lodden Valley Football Netball League Grand Final for the under 18s. Umpires, throw it in. Tap going forward. I think they'll have to do this all again. They will. So just watching back behind the play here, we've got a bit of a brick house going here. Brick wall, I should say, with uh, Morong just yeah. in front of us. We won't pick that up on the camera, but um, they're ready if anything comes forward. Yeah, I think they, um, this one have got to actually be more attacking. They've got to go to the other side of the ground. So ball at ground level. Right comes in. A lot of nerves out there, Cog out yeah, the moment. Yeah, it's gone. And yes, it is the wind in the background, you can hear. Good tap there. Little kick comes out towards us, Glenn. You would have got that in your day. Bounces a bit funny, and that goes across the line in front of Harry Robinson. I'll throw it back in. Does it let up the wind later, or does it have a little break? Uh, I've got a feeling it might be stronger. <laughs> Not a good day for a week. So, ball thrown back in. The boys go at it. Stephen's got the tap. Gave it to a teammate. He'll come around the back to uh, Harry Mannix again. Oh, he yeah, upended him. Play on is the call, and they're off to the races this time for the climb. Oh, no, they're not. He got caught. So, the turnover. I'll throw away from our commentary here. Yeah, I think you're right, mate. Look at that. Yep, that was always going to be the case. Wasn't it? I reckon that um, that one's headed off to the midi pub. Yeah, it could have been. So right in front of us, free kick to East Lodden. Decides to play on Harvey White, kicks it forward, big pack there, come back over the top, little hand in there, a little kick off the ground. Now they'll go against his big boy, any Streams out towards the boundary line, and that one is just over. Yeah. So. 
good tap by the big fella for foot. He just tapped it over the back somehow. Mason Locking scored by Riley Kerr. Just goes sideways. The kick had to be good and sit up, and it didn't. And they're off to the races again through Tui. These kicks are wobbly. Old horrible thing might work out okay for the Eastlock boys. Round the corner. Oh, didn't get caught. Bang it on the boot. And that's the first for the Eastlock boys. And don't they love it, Glenn? Yes, that was a good goal. Just strength there from young Happy Chan broke the tackle and he put it up in the right spot. So I suppose that all got led by that intercept mark and half forward there, Coggo. Young K. Tui, breeding the ball in the wind and um, set up the goal. Well so, Mitchie Hancock has uh, changed, um, I was going to say changed his hairstyle, he's had that forever. His yeah, old man used to have a hairstyle like that. Yeah, well, I played against his old man. Did you? Hangers? <laughs> yeah. The old hangers. Uh, he and I had a few tussles over I'll the journey. I bet mate. I bet you did. He's, yeah. a, he's a butcher, mate. You know that? Yeah, I knew that. <laughs> He was uh, pretty, uh, pretty fair and uh, you know, uh, hard at it on the old footy ground, the old hangers. He yeah. was uh, good base. Good so, man. Yeah. So back in the middle, 117 East Lodden. Morong just the one point. They have got the wind East Lodden. Trying to get a tap out of there was Hocking. It comes back the other way. Just a bit cute, aren't they, at the moment, Morong? Yeah, I just think... need to kick it and decide to play on is to go. Yeah. Towards the flank, that's going to beat everyone and go over the line. I reckon that's Glenn's phone going off, so um, a lot of these guys haven't worked out yet, James, the, uh, the actual silent button on it. But we'll work on Glenn for that. <laughs> well, I didn't know I had any friends, Cogger. Yeah, gee, look out. <laughs> so, ball about to be thrown back in. Mason Hocking taking on Jimmy Taylor in the ruck. Hocking will get there first, got the tap out. Look for a friend, he's found one. He needs to kick it, and he's caught. Oh, got rid of it quickly. Nice roving job, kick out of there was good by Harris. The free ball out towards centre wing. Can he get around? He had to get around Thompson. Handball was in hope more than anything. Oh, that's really a throw. Umpire agrees. Well, hang on. Okay. The other way, yeah. Might have been a free kick going back the other way. So this time it's Wagner. Just sits it up for the forwards. Oh, I had his name all over it. So Blake Downton will take the free. Is it Blake? Big fella. No, it's not a Rams skill, I should say. Yeah, that's him. They're very similar, aren't they? They're not in a way. Well, he needs to put this out to the right goalpost. Crogo, he's going to get this one. Let's see if he's going to listen to you, Glenn. No, a Rams skill. Kick the second for East Lawton. Kicks on its way. Oh, look how far it swung. Yeah, no, Had to be more right, didn't it? Yeah, probably yeah. halfway through the points, really. But anyway, it's still tricky conditions. Everyone's got to adapt to it. So it, it's across the ground that the wind, does that mean that it's a three goal wind or is it? It's uh, just... I think if you play the, play the right side of the ground, in other words, the Benigo side of the ground, yeah. you can score from that side more than this, uh, yeah, I would sure. say, the, yep. the midi side of the ground. So it's blowing to the pocket really, isn't yeah. it? So it's... Absolutely, 1-2-8, East Lawton takes, uh, takes on Morong here in the under 18 grand final. They have one point on the board, a little tap out of there was by Hocking. Still they crowd the ball, it's coming back, oh, it's a free kick here, being paid, and I reckon yeah, it's from a wrong. Yeah, no, no, it's down to Is it? Tackle, oh, yeah. okay, righto. Yeah, it'll probably be, uh, maybe, potentially the goals, maybe. Let's have a look at what happened here. Yes, I'd say he's been doing So, the free kick, just trying to work out who yeah, that is. Be in the goals, Mitch Hockey. No, uh, it wasn't him, it was the other fella. It was Mitchell Hancock. Yeah. So he's got two early. I think if, you were, if, you, if you've been an ex-umpire, well, a umpire, I should say, Glenn, um, we need to kick around his mark, Well, he did the old AFL thing, Coggo. They all want to kick around the corner. And, uh, anyway, the mark wasn't set, but he's played on it. Yeah. Kicked the goals. So East London 2 2 14, Morong just the one point early stages in this game though. Yeah. I'd, see, I'd, say the, uh, I'd say the umpires are going to be hard on anything late. Yep. Look at that. So pin the arms or anything like that, Cogger, which is probably. Yeah, that's the uh, yes, you know, So you've got to be careful with your tackles and make sure you get them correctly. Yep. It's cost them to start. Because I think it's going to be a little bit harder to kick goals than we sort of think at the moment. Yeah, agree. So Ruck's back at it again. Hocking got the tap for East Lodden. Oh, nice work through the middle. Kick comes out by Stevens forward. Oh, he should have taken a mark back yeah, there. Have that Ramskill up. missed it. They've still got numbers at the foot. Trying to get through. Geez, they're under pressure, Morong. Great work by the forwards. 
here for East London. Oh, handball. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Dropped, dropped it. Dropped it. Yeah. Good call from the umpire there. So free kick to East London. And uh, Glenn, he is going to have to, because he'll be sitting on a car when he gets ready to kick it. Oh, yeah. So. He sits it out, like I said, right goal post. Probably. He should get a chance. He might be just sitting out for the five minute mark of the square. He might get that. He might get that. So Liam Stevens gets around the corner. He did what you said. It's coming back. It just won't make the distance off hands. Yeah. Little handball over the top by Max Lowry. Gains another point. East Lawton 2 3 15. Just the one point for Ong Lawton Valley Football Netball League Grand Final. This is the under 18s. First quarter. The key coming out that side towards uh, Bendigo. So Harris puts it in. Couldn't take the mark. Was hocking. Sit on top of it up like Max, Max, come here. Late stages, first term in the under 18s. You'd think that's probably appropriate for the, the win factor 2 3 at this yeah, stage. Yeah, it's, it's taken five minutes for both sides to settle, too. So. Yeah, sure. Stevens again gets on his right. The coach did say to me before the game. I I another downfield kick here. Yeah. Jay Climo did say to me, watch out for Mitch, he's going to have a beauty today. He wasn't wrong in the first term. Yeah, no, he's, the last five minutes he's really popped up, hasn't he, Conrad? He's been good. All right, this is going to be um, a tough kick. The only advantage out near the tower there, Glenn, is the fact that he is on that right side. So aim, aim for the uh, scoreboard. Yeah, well, I think if he just sits it up straight, it's probably, probably carry it through. So another chance. Their third kicks on its way. I reckon he's aimed that. Would you believe that's out of bounds in the full, or is it one point? Oh, it's out in the full. Yeah, out in the full. He did carry it. Put it up too high. Maybe, maybe uh, the boys got to lower their eyes a little bit. And just uh, try and um, uh, you know make the, the wind less effective. So, yeah. You'd think so, yeah. So William Baird will get it back to action from wrong. He thought about coming to our side. He's going to come down the middle with a short kick. Oh, it's dangerous. Might work out okay. Umpire says, "Yep, fair enough." Kick comes back into Hope and in the middle. A couple of uh, wrong boys just launch onto it. Little tap out of there was good. So O'Neill gave it off. Round the corner was Thompson. Still got it. Still working. Needs to kick it and does. Forward. No one back there. Run chases on. He's after it again. Young Bailey O'Neill. He'll get there and he might even run into an open goal and does. Good goal against the flow of play. Really good goal. But I think both sides have got to attack the, the Benigo side really to, to score. And that was proven there. Where they, they went across to the middle and booted it down the middle and uh, came out the back. And leg speed won that one, Cogger. Leg speed. Yeah, indeed. And the other thing, too, is just what you just said then. Down the middle. Don't muck around with it. Just get it on the boot. You can score against the wind, can't you, like that? Yeah, you can. I think, I think like I said, you've got to be positive and how you play into the wind. And uh, Moron did a good job of that. So, 2 3 15, East Loddon. Moron got their first on the board, 1 1 7. Late stages of this term, thanks to ASQ. And also Avard Civil, umpire chucks it up. Rucks go at it. Good tap that time. Nice work by Vinico. Comes out the back. Got to get rid of it. Got to kick it. And he does, Brody Wagner. Going forward. Nearly took the mark there. So rolls towards the back. They might get out of it wrong. Got to get rid of it. Got to kick it. Oh, danger time. They did well in the end. Nice work in the end. So Roberts just delivers it sideways. You saw how much that sat up in the wind. Yes, it's uh, very tricky. They sit on top of it. Boy says, I will have it. So about 70 out from East Lawton's goal. They lead 2 3 15 on 1 1 7. On the Bendigo Bank. Inglewood scoreboard. Comes around the back. Stevens again just bangs on his boot. That's what they expected. Oh, it come off of Scott. I think it come off Mitchie Hancock Scott then. Yeah, I think it come um, wrong. Uh, defender had a first hands on it, so it didn't quite carry across. Just grabbing ahead now, Mitchie. But if he's like his old man, mate, you've got a heart here. Yeah, I don't think it'll affect him too much. <laughs> so, ball about to be thrown back in. And he's like, pluck something from this. A little push and shove at the back. So. Goes over the back of Ramskill, comes out the back again. Here we go, got to get rid of it. Spun around, got a little right kick. It was cute, didn't work too well. Good work though by Wagner. They go in again. Wagner again just uh, delivers to no one in particular. Now it sits in one of those little juicy pockets. It's just Wagner, he's had three touches in the last 30 seconds. He puts it sideways. How's he going to sit? A couple of numbers there for East Lodden. Adler. Oh, you're in trouble, boy. Where are you? 
but you've got uh, over the line before you've got tackle. He'd have to be related to Gordon, surely. Yeah, he certainly is. He's the red side. Gordon's a trusty number eight jumper, jump worn by the Athens of the journey. So, ball in dispute. Trying to go through there was Rasmus and kick around the corner. Yeah, I think it's gone over. Indeed. They tell me Gordon, Gordon still takes his boots to the ground. Yeah, no, Gordon holds the sixties. Yeah, he's one of his sixties, but uh, holds the records for the most games as he's the men's seven point two five. Short reserves, Gordon's going to lose a lot there. So short kick was dangerous. It's always going to sit up in this wing. Just kicking hope out towards centre wing there by Thompson. He comes back. Oh, couldn't get a handle on it there. To get one high to it, I think he did. Made to it. Simon John Blake? Yeah, Simon John Blake. He's a uh, good footballer. So, Tui, not sure where to go. That's probably the best option, kicking it forward. Ball sits back, goes towards the back. Look out, this is Hancock again. Got the kick smothered. Still working hard. These young kids love to balk anyone, even if they're not there, they still balk. That kick yeah. comes back to the boy in Stevens. Just gives it off now. Now, just got to deliver it short. Your ball is smothered. Comes out of there. It is a good tackle, wasn't it? Yeah, Comes right. back. Got to kick it. And does so. Kick wasn't great by James. Yeah, we want to come out the back here. This is a chance. Yeah. Good tackle. Oh, Scott Mix uh, solidly. The yeah. umpire says you didn't have much of a hope. Yeah, good call from Neville Cockrell. So umpire Cockrell throws it up. Rucks again. Good tap. Still no one can get it out of there. Bit of rugby in there, isn't it? Bit of a scrum. Yeah. It's, uh, oh, kick smothered there. Just grabbed it again with the one, with the uh, the one uh, kick away. It's that ball smothered. It's very congested. Yeah. 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 We gained about ten meters and about four kicks that were smothered. Yeah, no, a lot of players around the ball there, and that's probably the way to play playing into the wind. Long, probably so, to their advantage. There. Good tap at the back there, Hocking. Good handball. Get rid of it, the umpire says, and they did. They're just first to the ball at the moment, East Lyme. This is Stevens again, just having a, a ripper. The kick's not great. And Long will tidy up through Harry Roberts. Now, Roberts is going to kick it right back to where it came from, which is quite pointless, but he will anyway. So I'll just sit up again with the pack. Comes over the top. Floaty old, horrible day for the kids to try and do something. Kicked around the corner, it's all East Lodden. No one can take a mark, I reckon that come off the head too, Glenn. Yeah, to the back, got to get rid of it. Handball was good, here they come again through Wagner. His handball was great. Picks up, kicks again towards the forward line. It's all wrong back there, it swings wide as it would. Trying to get there first, nice work in there by Taylor. It's gonna come out of there. It's gonna just land in front. In fact, it's over the line in front of us. Yeah, right in front of us. We didn't carry that fair way over here. But Moronga defending pretty well here. This could be a good uh, corner for Moronga with the fact that they score in by the So, right in front of us. She's Mason Hopper. That is the sign. There's a big boy. Gonna push and jump there. But that is quarter time here at, at uh, Mini Elmo. East Lodden 2 3 15. Moronga 1 goal 1 7. In the under 18 grand final for Lodden Valley Football Network League. Okay, second term about to get underway here. Lodden Valley Football Netball League Grand Final for the under 18. Set of clearances in the first term for East Lodden. It was uh, two all in fact against Morong. The inside 50s, East Lodden easily seven to two. And the freeze four for East Lodden and one for Morong. And uh, just a couple of tackles each. So um, it was a quarter, it was a bit windy, Glenn, who's with me. Yeah, no, I think, uh, like I said, Morong would be happy with that first quarter. Because potentially it's a it's better than a two goal win if you can use it. Yeah. And um, the first five minutes both sides took a lot of the and uh, Moronga are in the box seat if they can get off to a bit of a fly this quarter. Second term thanks to ASQ. Good tap this time. Big blokes back in the ruck there. Some ram skill going forward. This is advantage for East Lodden. Just couldn't take the mark back there. It was a the little fella Bailey. Comes towards the back. Handball by uh, Ruckman, who's having a little rest there, Hocking, comes back, should have tried at the mark, rolls to the side, opportunity for Rasmussen, got tackled, got rid of it. How did he get rid of it? Hang it on, okay. So Tyler Rasmussen will take the free kick, grabbing the old hammies, thinking to himself, can I kick this 70, Glenn? I don't think he will kick it 70, but if he was smart, he'd be putting it left of centre, Cogo, that's what I'd be putting, so... Um, and try and let the forwards run into it and try and take them up. 
And not pop it up, pop it up in the air too much either. No. Well, here up. comes the leads anyway. Short kick into the forward line. Marks on. Little push out of there. Hancock again. It isn't him, by the way, because they've changed jumpers. That's a goal. And they have changed jumpers, the cheeky ones. It's Doughton that's kicked that for East Lodden. So they get the first one against the uh, tide, please. Yeah, yeah, no, that was a good goal into the breeze. And uh, well, well roved by the big fella, actually, wasn't it, really? It was, yeah. Made the most of his opportunity in the second third in line and came through. It, so. Just an edit in this game, too, is the kids have changed jumpers at quarter time. So they had me sucked in, Glenn. Nearly got me again. Yeah, they did. But, but uh, we're right now. Both playing in the forward line next to each other, so we should be able to work that out. So. <laughs> Give me a minute. <laughs> so, back in the middle. 3 3 21 East Lodden, wrong 117. Thanks to Avard Civil. Tap comes down, it was the tackle was there. I thought about the free kick, decided against it. Yeah, oh, a little bit high, oh, I would yeah, have thought. Yeah, no, yeah, you're a wrong free kick. I thought it went to the wrong guy, actually. But anyway, Thompson plays on quickly, Kepler. Bangs it into the forward line. Some numbers back there. Ball goes a little bit further than it should because of the wind. You sit at ground level. Got a handball out. Not sure how it went around. Got around a couple. Now got to get rid of it sideways. Oh, pressure's on over the top. Now East London have got pressure on. Just stole it. Had to get a handball out of there. It was Walston. Still good work defensively. Is this this boy again? Stevens. Tried to do a bit too much, but got out of it. May have been a, a free kick. Ball sits up in the wind. Nearly took the uh, mark there, was hockey. Now it's play on. Comes back the other way. Little handball was in hope more than anything. East Lodden with some numbers. How did he get rid of it? Up I nearly thought about a free kick. The up uh, will pay that free kick that we saw before. And this young fella's going to take the free kick again. Rasmussen decides to play on. Kicks it nice and long into the forward line. Out comes. Uh, Hocking this time, he goes around the corner, didn't have it, now he's got to get rid of it, decides just bang it on his right boot, don't tell me, how's it going to bounce? Bounce is a bit strange, Glenn, because it's a bloody footy and that's what they do. Comes out sideways, now the run chase is on for Warong, will it beat everyone across the line in front of a good crowd mounting at the moment, little handball over top by Stevens. gets his own handball, bangs it on his boot forward, bounce will be a little strange. And work hard in there, the kick comes out, but it's all East Lodden back here if it sits. Yeah, it's not going to sit down. No. Chase is on again. Heard a few voices, needed to kick it, and does. And good mark, and oh, might be 50 there, you think. Oh, they're going in after him. Stephen says, can you point me to the 50 metre mark, please? Yeah, it was definitely late. Unnecessary. So, discipline's got to be the key, uh, Cogger. Maybe discipline. This is a little bit loose. So Stevens is going to have a shot from about 30, you'd think. Yeah, a difficult shot. He's got no one on the mark there, so they want to be careful here. Or are they going to straighten him up? Oh, oh sorry. They, no, it's it's a gee, that's a big 50, isn't it? They're going to play two 50s there. Yeah, they may have. So he's uh, probably 15 metres out directly in front of Cogger. So. so Liam Stevens. He's a good mark though. You've got to give him credit there. Yeah. You have to sit there and wait for it. So. Comes in, should deliver. Kicks it to the netball court. It's a goal. Yeah, good goal. He's by far been uh, the most outstanding player on the ground at the moment. Yeah, has been for sure. Got his own footy, isn't it? Yeah, no, he's uh, running rampant. Thanks to ASQ, lots of support here for East Lodden too, Glenn. The sirens are going mad over the road. Yeah, no, they... Uh, well, Worlds, I should say. Uh, local community are getting behind these boys, no doubt. And you've, you've got three communities getting behind them too, Colorado. Thanks to Inglewood and Districts, Bendigo Bank, 4-3 plays 1-1, one, one. East Lodden in charge. The second term in this game here at Midiamo Recreation Reserve. We expect a big crowd this afternoon for what's going to be uh, the start of a magnificent day. Umpire comes in, gets everyone to clear out. It's Ramskill in the mark, uh, in the ruck, he can't get the tap. He ended up being Jimmy Taylor. Now got a kick. Oh, Fitness nice smothered. Nice, nice, nice. Need to get it rid of it quicker, Thompson. Now it comes out the back. Look out, they're on here. It'll be Wagner that gets there first, goes in for the pickup again, gets tackled by a couple, got rid of it at the end. Stevens in there too again. Shock horror. Bottom of the pack. And now Pi says give it to me. Oh, I know it's under 18s, but you nearly have to tag young Mitch Stevens, wouldn't you? Uh, I think you'd have to. Oh, Liam Stevens, sorry. Yeah, you'd have to actually. He's just getting so much of it. He just missed it there, but anyway. He's, uh, he's good with it, he's very elusive, isn't he, Cobo? Uh, yeah, he is, yeah. He's, 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 he's not good. playing on anyone. No, but then I 
ruck over roll, that's what he's probably playing. So. Just got the wall happening back here too for East Lodden as they come in again. Good tap this time, comes out. There's a man we spoke about. Liam Stevens, wobbly old kick towards the forward line, off hands again, they all roll across the top of it. A little push Coming out of out there from Downton. Look out, got to get rid of it. How did he get rid of it? I'm probably giving plenty of time. That might be different yeah, though. Yeah, no, Curtis Mann has played that against his game. Yep. Like opportunity. Just a bit too long, wasn't it? Yeah. He's a big fella. They decide to go that flank again. So they're banging out sideways through Jeff Bird. Kick wasn't great, little handball over the top, has to get rid of it, handball comes back, here's an opportunity through K Tui, towards the forward line, off hands, Hancock was there, Morong, got to get away and they do, so they kick it towards this flank here, the commentary side, towards the far boundary line and they'll see it back over. I stuck my head out there, Glenn, it's a bit windy. Yeah, no, uh, the wind blows you back in again, Cogger. Yeah, no. At least the flag, uh, flags are fluttering with the wind anyway, they're not hanging droopy. So. That's true. So, ball about to be thrown back in. Good tap at the back there by Hocking. Coming back, but it's all wrong back there. And good mark in defence. This is where they've just got to try and set up Morong. So, Mannix. Switching, switching yeah. across to that side of the ground, isn't it? Mm, yeah, exactly. Ball comes back. It'll go to the top of everyone. Big foot race on here. Can the young bloke get there first? Decides to get a little handball off. Here we go, Maxi Lowry gets on his left. The kick wasn't too bad. If it sits okay, he'll get it back here, Lowry. Made it hard for him, though. He waits for the opponents to arrive, got rid of it. Now they need to do something in defence because they're under pressure. There's a boy down there. I hope he's okay. Comes towards the back. The tackle is solid, so they'll throw it back out. I want to keep an eye on this young bloke here. Might be Tyler Rasmussen who's on the 17, 17 is it? Sorry, yeah, the other boys are going to stop the game here for a second. Aiden Rolston it is. Oh, he's got the wind knocked out of his sails. Very good too, yeah. Just more of a reliable source at the time. Might be a head knock there. Yeah, doesn't look too well on that. So I'll we'll just wait for him to come off the ground. No time on. No, right. In the under 18s. So. tap towards the boundary line. They all run over the top of it. Little more handball comes out. Now they might get out of jail. Look out, here's Maxi Lowry again. Bangs it on his right, kicks it forward. Misses. Really did. Yep, 4 3 slot and wrong. 1 2 8, under 18 grand final, second term here at Midiamo Recreation Reserve. It's coming back to us, Glenn. You can really take that, Mark. Yeah, no. Steve, uh, Liam Stevens just gets a handball across. The little handball was in hope more than anything. Oh, oh, gee. Might have been a bit, yeah, swing tackle, I think. Yeah. Sling, swing, whatever the call. So, Maxi Lowry. Plays on now, kicks it towards the forward line. Where are the forwards from wrong back here? Yep, free kick and a push. What's the umpire saying? It's going back to East Lodden. How'd you see that one, Glenn? Uh, couldn't really see it from here, but uh, obviously the umpire's in a better position than us, so Ned Cartwright's the man getting the kick. So. Ned's a good, good young fella, but young like a who's down near uh, Ockmore. Where's that? Glenn will ask you in a sec. Oh, good mark. Great mark by Riley Doty. Plays on quickly, short kick into the forward line. It is going to beat everyone. And they keep it in there, just sitting in front of the line. I think they'll trap it. Yeah, it'll be a baller. Well, it's good to see kids with the you know, old fashioned names like, you know, Ned. There's nothing wrong with that, mate. Yeah, I don't mind the old Ned. Some of these new names, you just can't pronounce them, but well, Ned's Ned, an easy one. Ned's probably one of Australia's most famous names. Is it? Right. Yeah, right. <laughs> Unfortunately. Clearly been doing not much with your life, been doing checking that out. <laughs> Off hands again towards the boundary line. And uh, the big fella, Hocking, takes it over. Need a goal here, Glenn. Yeah, they do. Oh. And uh, feeling like they're pressing here, they might be a chance here. You keep, keep enough pressure in the goals for you here, you can get, get something out of another. But East Lodden doing the right side, defending to the uh, mediano side of the ground. It's 
throw in Hocking got the tap for East Lodden towards the boundary line. I'll do it all again. Hocking is influence in the rock may be telling by the end of the day. He doesn't get any smaller. No, exactly. Under 18 grand final for 2024 Lawn Valley Football Netball League, thanks to ASQ. Garden supplies, good tap by Hocking. Comes towards Lowry, can't keep it in. Yeah, Lowry's actually had a good quarter, hasn't he? He has, yeah, indeed. So they just need another one fairly quickly or wrong, otherwise. East Lodden can get away, can get away very quickly from you. Toss back in, good one from Hocking at the back. Ball comes loose, Lowry again. They just sit over the ball, little kick out, a little bit of soccer work here. Kick going forward this time through Kerr, and that is gone there to Atuka. Yes. You can stop at KFC on the way to get something with that. I was, was going to say, uh, Kongo, that was heading straight for the goals to the win. Yeah, wow, we, you can see the win factor here at why they call it Windy Flats, that's the reason. I think just more of a low, a kicking ball would be the answer here sometimes. Yep. But East Lawton defending um, end up with us in the room. Oh, here, I reckon Congo. you're right, mate. It's coming that way. In fact, yeah. it will. Yeah. I was going to say, you're probably better off trying to go down the middle and let it swing. So. Free kick to Barong. Here they go again. This time through Thompson. Once and again, playing into East Lawton's hands here. Uh, just banging it forward, are yeah, they? Yeah, and it's just sitting in this dead pocket. They so. need, 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 need a, probably a cross kick to get it out in that centre corridor. Right? You've got to be brave to, to score here. Just heard the Swan Hill train come past with the horn going, got sucked in, thought it was a siren. Anyway, tap goes back. Turn around the corner, try to get out of there with Cruz with a kick, it didn't work. His tackle was okay, or was it? it was okay. So the young boy chucks it up. And even the wind's carrying yeah. that away. <laughs> so I was just thinking that there. Try to get a little kick away with Thompson. Towards the boundary line, got to get rid of it, spins it around. Thompson, you had it for long enough, it's going to go back the other way. No one could take a mark, or did they? In fact, they did, though, the play on? Yeah, it didn't call the distance. Ah, uh, okay, right. So, ball's got to be thrown in. Yeah, that, went, uh, it went 25 in the air and 5 up. <laughs> <laughs> so, second term here at Midiamo Recreation Reserve. It's the under 18 grand final. I'm still in a good job. I've got the tap at the back, little push towards the boundary line. Away we're going. We might just get our cameraman there to just go and sit in that pocket, I reckon, for the next five minutes. Yeah, it's not going to leave. I think he's uh, got live action under his feet there, hasn't he? <laughs> so, ball about to be chucked up again. Let's see if someone can clear it. Rucks go at it. Still towards the boundary line, and they'll do it all again. Yeah, no, this is very good. Uh, yeah, it suits Wong, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah, no, Moronga just... Uh, oh, sorry, suits each lot, I should yeah, say. Yeah, they've got to be brave. They've got to switch the ball. Otherwise, it's just locked up in his pocket. And East Lodden have kicked what, uh, two into the breeze, so they've, uh, they've done a great job this quarter to get those top goals, but it seems to be negated just at the moment. Yeah, it does indeed. Little handball over the back, got to get rid of it. Work hard in there as Thompson. Moronga are actually putting a lot of pressure on the So East Lodden 4-3, Moron 1-2. It'll be a great deal of time left in this second term of the under-18 grand final for the Lodden Valley Football Netball League. Thanks to the Inglewood Districts Bendigo Bank Community Banking. It's always going to be a little bit short. Yeah, Hocking got a slap away, and that's uh, yeah, going to all happen again. Yeah, yeah. good punch there. Well, I've got five, ten metres going. Yeah. Half time approaching quickly. Sometimes, Glenn, I'll say this sometimes, I'll always pick a free kick just to clear it. Yeah. Sometimes, Sometimes. maybe not in the grand final. So it's always going to be a little bit short there. Could get a, a possession. And I reckon she's going to push towards the line again. I probably said play on. No, it's out. So, all roads lead to video today. It's a big day for the Lawton Valley Football Netball League. The grand finals, all three. All the netty at the back. You can hear the whistles. The ball's a bit shorter again. This time, sits at ground level. Had to pick it up. 
the big fella. Turn around the corner with Cruz, just got a handball away. Now the kick comes back. We've actually cleared the area. Do you believe it's going to sit short? Good work by uh, the young fella there. So hockey. Come back, come back, come back. Come back a little bit. It's going to sit up in the wind again. Can't take the mark. They ran into each other. Jeez, rough stuff. This is hockey. Hurt himself there. Big Hancock, yeah, Mitchie Hancock. So, sits at ground level, no one can really get a position, a possession. And the umpire will come in and do it again. You will admit that's a pretty handy mullet, Cogger. You and I it's couldn't one of the greatest mullets ever, mate. I, I was looking at it when I should have been looking at the play. That is huge. Good tap at the back there by Ramskill. Swing it round the corner. He's got to get rid of it quickly, Kerr, and he does. Just kind of sits it up too. A few go at it. Wait for a, a mark. No one could take it. This kid's been good so far in Wagner. Tangled in front of him. Lost yeah. him, yeah. Free kick to Wagner, I think you'll find you. He played for that. He did yeah. old Kim and Bartlett, but he uh, handballed it out in front before he got tagged. So, Brody Wagner. Gets rid of it quickly, you give it to Liam Stevens as you would. He gets on his right, Stevens, kicks towards goal, not going to make the distance. There's a man back there scouring for it, which is uh, the big fella. Yeah, he's tapped over the top. up going back to Maroon. So. And guess where it's going? To the boundary line. Yeah. That was a great clearance, though. The centre clearance there by East Lawton, broke it right up. So, just uh, sneaking around the corner to the camera. If I get my big fat head in the way, I apologise. Yeah. So, ball, that's good with the boundary up ice. Bring the little fellas in. They're doing a great job. I don't think they're uh, nearly redundant on the other side. Yeah, I think so. It'll be cold. Got a deck chair job. This is Stevens again. Got to get rid of it on his right. Does kick it. Just going to sit there and wait. The umpire has picked up what? Hanging on here for the umpire not in the play. So it's still a... Hang on, what's going on? Oh, it's back this way, is it? I'm not sure what's happening here, so I think it is a slot and free kick. He's played it off the ball. So, where's he pointing down here? Oh, yeah, the mark's down there, righto. So, it's one of the Rasmus that's got to run 20 to take the free kick, I would think. Or is it him? No, it's not him. Brody Wagner, is it? Yeah, yeah it Wagner. is. So, Wagner. We're back now, ready to roll. He just bangs it into the forward line. She's a wobbly old horrible thing that ends up in wrong arms. Here they go again. They're just going to kick and hope. Now the chase is on. Let's watch this with interest in the under 18 grand final. It bounces a good 30 metres. The tackle was on to it. Had to get rid of it. Had to get rid of that. The umpire picked out a free kick. And it was, wasn't the umpire closest to the player. That was interesting. So Thompson. Thompson. Right in front of our commentary here, the under 18 grand final. Asks to play on, but the umpire does so. Just sits it in the middle. Who can take a mark from a wrong over the back there? They kind of smothered each other, Glenn, which wasn't great. Yeah, no, it's still there. Yeah, it is Pretty indeed. Up there. Tackle was good. Umpire said you want to be hanging on. So Kibler Thompson will take the free kick for wrong and give them a chance to pick up this second. Yeah, no, uh, that, that free kick is there. He actually tackled the ball and got tackled. He never had it. Let's see if he gets to uh, halfway through the point post, I reckon, Cogger. And uh, hopefully he doesn't end up between the air too much. It'll be a great scoring opportunity for Rob. Surely he'd be, he'd be looking close between the, the scoreboard and the point post. Uh, I'm not sure it's actual. Halfway through the point should be the next point. Yeah. Yeah. Thompson, he did what I said, and it's should have done what you said. Yeah, I think and so. <laughs> local knowledge, Cogger. <laughs> As it is. I didn't play that many games up at Mini, but I'll tell you what. Uh, <laughs> Uh, it's one of those grounds that uh, the locals know how to play. Yeah. So, ball is back in play. Four free plays, one three. East Lobden in charge. Late stage is the second term here at Miniamo Recreation Reserve. Little tap out of there was actually good. Or was it the throw? Yeah, that's right. Okay, look good. So it'll be an East Lobden free kick, whoever wants it. And it won't matter anyway, because he's not going to kick it from there, Ram Skill. So, that is half time here at Midi Ammo Recreation Reserve for the Under 18s Grand Final, Lodden Valley Football Netball League, and it's East Lodden 4 3, wrong 1 3. And that is half time. Just starting the third quarter here, the Lodden Valley Under 18s. This whistle being called in, someone's gone in the. Uh, holding
going off the ball. Against Morong. Obviously an early set of clearance going very slot. Cogo's favourite man, number 22. Yes, indeed it is. Tell you what, she's a, she's a long walk around here, mate. Yeah, how long's the coffee queue? Yeah, it's a long one, don't worry about that. Kennery gave the kick away. Here we go, East London going forward. Can hand top, cock take the mark. You only stuffed that up in a bad way there, Glenn, but it worked out all right. Yeah, yeah. we're on the ball, battled it up there. Yeah, just close that door for James here. Uh, it has a few, like, down the bottom of the steps. All up there and uh, see if I'm wrong. Put a boot foot, lucky. Wagner's got a boot in forward and it's landed in nice and hopping his lap. So, bit of full two of us there. So, set shot about 15 metres out, slight angle off on the Benigo side. So, uh, local boy might have a little local knowledge here. Might show us how to do it, Cogger. Yeah, he may too. Well, they don't need this one wrong. Here he goes to make it hard. Kicks on its way. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it. He has got yeah. it. That boy took forever. So Hockey picks up a goal. Early stages, third term here at Midi Ammo, and uh, that's going to sting wrong. Yeah, no, that was on a holding on the ball against uh, our, our number 22, who's uh, been the most prominent player on the ground without a doubt, probably. Yeah, he has. And I'm not sure what you do from a wrong point of view, whether you try and tag him. I know it's under 18s, I get that, but maybe you have to. Yeah, I, I, yeah those, I think they've got to play him a little bit closer. He's been the, he's been the dominant focus, hasn't he? Yeah, indeed. Umpire goes again. Nice big leap. Oh, I get there at the end, bit of comb. Oh, yeah, Hocking end up uh, punching it clear on the second go. Ram skill. You're not going to win a wrestle with that big fella. No, he's a big unit. He towers over the poor up line. Yeah, it makes uh, poor old Neville look like a bloody midget, doesn't he? <laughs> Neville, Neville's six foot, too. <laughs> Scolding with six foot of cock, yes. <laughs> Oh, yeah, just gets pushed off the ball there. Wrong, got numbers, someone's just got to do something, that's not going to help. He comes back to Harry Roberts, uh, not Harry Roberts, sorry, uh, Wagner. Wagner's short kick. They need, they need to go right of centre, they really, they need to get out this other side, that's what they're doing. Now it's coming back. Yeah. Kick goes nice and long, oh, it's a big leap from the back there. Towards the boundary line. They all sit white, just push that across the line. So, plenty of confidence being shown by the East Loddon forwards. Yeah, no, they're actually growing in confidence. You know, looking at that, and that goal early in this quarter, giving more confidence to Cogger. So, back at this pocket again, where it likes to sit. Ground level, oh, this time it comes out. Nearly stood on the ball, wouldn't have been great from Downton. Handball in hope more than anything. Can anyone clear? Doesn't look like it. A lot of turf from East Lydon too, they're up and about as you said, not hearing too many wrong players. Yeah, I think we're on probably just got a little bit of self-doubt at the moment, but they stick with it. Um, they can still, still easily win this one. So Thompson's kick comes out from the wrong, who can take a mark, no one off hands, he's doing his own row, he's doing everything at the moment. Mason Hocking gives it off, here's an opportunity going forward. So Wagner, kick was interesting. Uh, not 15 minutes. Yeah, uh, just kicking hope more early from Kane Harris. The chase is on back here. Needs to pick it up. The cavalry arrived from wrong. That's got to be high. Thought so. Yeah, no. Duck his head. Went through the legs of uh, young Maxie Gray. High there. And what a guy behind him. So here's Moron. An opportunity. This kid's had a crack too. Maxie Gray. Uh, not Maxie Gray. Sorry, uh, Thompson. Well, he gets pushed after he kicked. He didn't need to do that. And I was looking at Maxie Gray because he's on the mark. He just gets told that that's not the way to do it. So it's a downfield kick. Who's going to take this kick? Murphy's got it. Richard Toy's got it at the moment. Cooper Murphy. Plays on. There's no one on the mark. The kick's a wobbly old thing. And it just sits in the arms uh, defensively. Okay, okay, Tui, yeah, I think. Yeah, Tui. I'm just trying to look around your head, Glenn, but you're all right. Stay there. Towards the boundary line. Did Stevens get that just inside? He did. So Liam Stevens. Kick comes towards the boundary line. That's yours, Glenn. Yeah, no, it's landing in our lap here, Cougar. Nice kick forward, too. We still got it, mate. Come on, Joshy. Work hard, mate. Just the Paul Magnin in the day. 
Five three, East Lodden wrong. One three. Little umpires doing a great job. It's their grand final too. Let's not forget that. Good tap in the back from Hockey. Trying to burst his way through as Harrison did so. His kick goes towards the boundary line. There was two there. They raffled it, but they lost it in the end. Oh, did you have that? Umpire said play on. Ground level. Not much happening. Comes over the back. Look out. Here comes wrong. Opportunity here through Thompson, who bangs it on the boot, going forward to one-on-one. -on -one. Nearly took the mark, turns around the corner, has a shot at goal, and kicks it. Or has he? Yes, he has now. Yeah, that's a good goal. So Cooper Murphy grabbed one, and it's the corner. Dave, you wouldn't have a clue how it's going to bounce, Glenn. No, oh, no, that was a good goal against the uh, play. But they, they've got to be brave, you've got to go up the corridor. And, uh, you've got to get in there to get, to get goals. So all of a sudden, it's 5-3 plays 2-3. Three. Yeah, it's still a ball game, well and truly. You know in grand finals, momentum is huge. I know it is in all home and away games, but come to a grand final, and what you said before, touch on what you said before about building a bit of confidence, something like that can really extend things for you, can't yeah, it? Yeah, that's right. And we've been, they've been uh, pretty solid. They haven't been poor. So, so Hockey got it from Vinicone, round the corner, shock horror at Stevens. Just bangs it on his right, kicks it long, coming out to meet it. Nice work. Tim, there's not many numbers back there from the wrong. Tackle wasn't too bad. Can they get out of something here? Well, that's all right. I said no on the wrong side. Still they work hard. Moves it forward quickly, kicks it right to the middle, off hands. Hancock nearly had it, had a hand on it anyway. He's still got a player in the tackle there. Must have thought, oh, let's push and shove here. So, it's all happening here. The boys have forgotten there's a camera on them, I think. So, what's the young boy going to do? Come and sort it out. We'll just give it a here. We'll save 50, is it? He's got to be on the contest here, I think. So, Wrong, just bang it back to where it came from. Stevens couldn't take the mark. About the only thing he hasn't done all day. Ground level, got to get rid of it. Look at how come in here. Here comes. Oh, gee. Yeah, yeah, okay. He was off to the races too, Jack McMurray. So Liam Stevens somehow ends up with the ball. He just needs to bang it in quickly. Oh, oh, he can nearly make the distance here if he kicks it. Well, he has, but uh, look at the wind. Yeah, that is just taken that, hasn't it? Yeah. He, he's kicked that 60. <laughs> Easy. Yeah. yeah. So, free kick last lot in defence for where the wrong. What's he doing? He's got a kick. Go, Gage! Asked to play on now. Oh, yeah, well. Yeah. The blokes are letting everyone in, they'd be getting that. Yeah, no, it's just. Uh, yeah, you've got to play the conditions, and unfortunately, a lot of these junior boys haven't picked up this ball. Smart so, ones have, but the. Uh, should have been a mark in there to be Ramskill. He's got it now, just handballs off to a, to a voice. The tackle was interesting. Handball came out from Thompson. Stevens bangs it round the corner, off hands again. If it sits up for him, I reckon he's touched it. Yeah. Yes. He was celebrating uh, the young bloke Rolston, mate, but I reckon he didn't realise they had a big hand. Hey, hey, so 5 4, 2 3, East Lawton in charge, third term. Thanks to Abard Sybil. Round the corner, got a little boot on it, was Roberts. In the pack, comes out the side. Here we go again, Stevens. He heard a voice out there. They descend on the young bloke in Wagner. Here they come again, Morong McMurray. Got to get a boot on it and does. Kicks it forward. Okay, what's going to happen here? There's no one in the forward line, Glenn. Chase is on, got to come around the corner. And unfortunately, he's put on the boot it. and uh, wind's blowing out of bounds. Oh, yep. Again. Needed to adjust. I uh, know there's not much time, but just adjust. Yeah, maybe just uh, boot it low to the ground and just get yardage. I'll go pushing that wind yardage is key. So the ball about to come back in. Good crowd building here at Midiamo. Yeah, no, it's going to be a really good crowd. Yeah. Tap to the back, in after it again. 
It was Rasmussen, got a kick away. Here we go again, it just bounces now. In fact, World Trap, what a big fella. Sits it up nice and high. Steven sitting under it should take the mark and does. I reckon he's had 35, 40 possessions already, Cobb. Eh? This bloke is bloody. He's been a wrong back here. Big little Maxi should get there. In fact, he doesn't. Maxi Larry. I reckon that. Um, thanks, mate. Did you get one for Glenn? Fair enough. Oh, that's fair enough. Pretty ordinary commentator. <laughs> so, Paul about to be thrown back in. We love you, Glenn. Here. Yeah. Ramskill got the tap, it comes towards the back there. Just turn around and kick. Did anyone take a mark or is it going to end up last? We're in the right location for the throw in school. At least we don't need to knock on the CO the other side of the ground because it hasn't learned anything. No, it hasn't, mate. I have got been off for the so, but you're right, I don't think I need it. All about to be thrown back in, just sits at the back there. Got to get a kick away if in a comb and does. Goes across the ground as you would expect. Bounces a bit strange. Handball was really, really good from Tui. Gives it off, gets it back again, Tui. Just bangs it on his boot. It's going to miss everyone, I reckon. Yeah, no, he should have probably put uh, it to the horse. Yeah, he did well, though. Yeah, cleared nicely. Yeah, no, he played a good game on halfback today, Tui. So 5-4 plays 2-3. Tip little half back line uh, job, just back to judgment and go for the job. Well, the thing is, in this kind of, these kind of conditions, it's what you need to do, don't you? So, I thought it would be too kind of fancy. Yeah. So, they sit at ground level. Oh, trying to steal it out of there. Nice work. Oh, he's missed it, has he? Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, it's surely a pretty good point. point. Yeah, it is. So, it's in line. Yeah, it was indeed. You beat me to it. But they are attacking East Lodden 5 5. So we're on 2 3 grand final. One, one sense is they need another, another one here or two to make sure that they're in a good position for that last quarter. So, <laughs> so they're quite just getting a full back bit of a crowd down the end now, which is good. And uh, ready to roll again as Warren will bring it back into that side. There you go, Glenn. It is over that side. Yeah, and and they've got to be bright. Yeah. Yeah, you've got to be bright. Yeah, he is indeed. He's got four to beat and he's done well to keep it in there. He loses it now. Comes out the side from Jet Bird. That's a good tackle on McMurray. And I reckon, uh, yeah, as you said, they'll throw it back in. Convoy of hay trucks in the background there, uh, Colin. Yeah, I, yeah, I see that. that. Yeah. So McMurray in there for the wrong with Climo. East Lodden, pops out the back, still with an opportunity, pick up by Tui again, got it back, how did he get rid of it? Yeah, it was trying to be. So they push it forward 20 metres at least. See, it's willing, isn't it, at the moment? Got the losses are hanging on. So Moron into attack. Jesus, it's a bloody old thing, isn't it? Oh, numbers there for East Lodden. Well, the Rasmussen decides to change direction. Now the foot race is on. Got to go forward, James. Couldn't deliver. Round the corner is Kane Harris. And he did well, Harris. But it is all East Lodden going back there. So Rasmussen again wastes no time for the Rams. Kicks forward. Big fella was there. He couldn't take the mark. He'll get it back again. Oh! He shoves a couple out of the way, Ramskill. And uh, you'll see why he gets a free kick against him. So Harris moves it quickly. Couldn't take the mark there. Did well in the end, duty. Now has to deliver on his right. Hopefully I'll pronounce his right. His name right to his parents. Thompson kicks it back in. It's a wobbly old thing. How's it going to bounce? Oh, he did all right. The defenders back there for the Rams. They're under pressure now. Sits at ground level. Little toss out there. And Moron gets something out of this. Kick goes forward. Dangerous spot. Murray might get there first. In fact, he doesn't. Still, they run into each other. Looking at Craig Sullivan. Yeah, right? indeed. The tackle was okay. Yeah, good Got rid of it in the end. Umpire's done the right thing. Landon just said, play on. Is yeah, it a free kick coming back to Moron? 
No, no it's uh, East Lodden, okay. I think my own might have kicked the goal out of that. Yeah, I reckon you're right. I suppose that's the beauty of having three umpires in a final. You tend to not miss too much, Coggo, that you and I don't see. No, it's true. The umpires are in the right position. So short kick all the way out wide. Not as much in there. That's a footy, yeah, that's no, a footy. It's no, it was, was there at the same time. I don't know. pay 50 on that. That was a good call there. Oh, now he's giving 50. Probably don't need to do that anyway. One thing luck wise, mate, you never see one change your mind. No, they don't. They don't. So, right on the wing here at the Midi Ammo Recreation Reserve, kick goes forward. Who's back there for the East Lodden boys? Yeah, Stevens Thompson. was. Oh, Stevens again. Yeah, yeah. he's just got a handball out. Here we go again. Good exactly. tackle. Trying to pick it up there. Didn't have it for a second. Swing around the corner this time by Wagner. Brings it back to the forward line. It's going to go over the top. That's the mark of the pits. Back there by Jimmy Taylor. This is young Hancock out of the way. Sinks the slipper. Yeah, nicely. He's Kerr. He's got a panic if he wants to just bang it on the boot, and he does just that, Riley Kerr. Unfortunately, it's carried right over the line. So. What are you suggesting to you, Glenn? Do you put it back towards the middle? Or? Uh, I think they've just got to lower their eyes and kick it lower. I think they're letting the wind carry the ball too much. So he had players in advantage there. And so ball comes back, should have taken it there. Curry now delivers off. Nice work by O'Neill. Good Your free kick. Yeah. Again, no point complaining. So Harry Cruz. It's a film star name, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Harry Cruz. Got the film haircut too, I think. Yeah, I think you're right. Bounces towards the boundary line. Have to get it and take off with it. Couldn't do just that, Kane Harris. Now it comes back. Who can take a mark? Well contested. They come through. Wait for the cavalry now. Got to get rid of it. Oh, Stevens with class. Got through. Handball was, there was a bit of hanging on, was there? It was indeed. So I'll go back to East Lodden. The wind might be picking up. Yeah, I think you're right, mate. So, as we, uh, well, yeah, it was a nice bit of swing, mate. Yeah, no, it's a uh, in our lap again. So, right in front of us, that late ball, stages. That ball moved 20 metres in the air easily. Thank you, right. There's Lodden 5 5, long 2 3, grand final third term. Thanks to Avard Civil, ASQ, Guard Supplies, as well as Inglewood Districts Community Bank, Bendigo Bank, of course. Does his best work, good throw. The big fellas there, Ramskill, he couldn't get the, the tap out. There they go again, he's been all right too. He's picked up his game, Kepler Thompson, towards the boundary line. That's a good mark. Now, Glenn, where do we go now? Yeah, he's seen a corridor, and that's where he's gone. Duty just kicks to a pack. They all leap there at the back. Heard a few voices there. They'll get out of jail, I think, here, East Lodden, and they do. Kick comes back from Tui. Just bounces in front of everyone. Nice tap at the back. Good work coming back the other way. Got to work hard in there. It's Kuno. Did well. In fact, it'll be a free kick coming back to Kuno, is it? No, it's downfield. It's downfield. It's actually going to be there where it is now. Yeah. Play on's the call. Nice work around the corner was Harris. And defensively, he's been good to young Brody Wagner. Yeah, no, he uh, was the league medalist and uh, he's obviously showing a little bit of his class today, isn't he? So Ramskill couldn't get a handle on it. Good tackle. Oh, just let it go. I don't quite thought about it. Comes out the back. Had to get rid of it. It was Harris. Let it go a little bit. Yeah. Good. Sideways kick from Kerr. Ends up in East Lodden hands, little handball was out there, shock horror, look out, Liam Stevens swings it round the corner. It could be off to the races here, through Adlam. Kick is a bit wide, just sitting under it and a good mark in defence, Harry Roberts. So Harry does his own umpire and says, I'll set the mark, thanks. Bangs it towards the Bendigo side, that's McMurray out there. Kick comes back towards the middle, had to be okay, I reckon that was a half volley. Yeah, it is indeed, Thompson. Now just kicks, but oh, just before the siren. Now, I say no. 
said no. He's saying no mark. There was no, no mark. There. No mark. No, the ball was in transit. Yeah. So Same that way. is three quarter time, Glenn. Yeah, and the last uh, five, six minutes actually belonged to Moran, didn't they, Cogger? They've actually showed a bit of grunt and they've got to give themselves a chance here. It's not beyond them to kick three goals in yep. the last quarter, but they'll have to play smart quick. Lawton Valley Football Netball League Grand Final for under 18. Three quarter time, East Lawton 5 5, wrong 2 3. So last term about to get underway at East Lawton Valley Football Netball League Grand Final for the under 18. It's East Lawton 5 5, wrong 2 3. Glenn's with me. Glenn, thoughts? Last term? Uh, I think Moronga got a drop by positive. They've got to go to the right hand side of the ground or Bendigo side and try and attack. The yeah, they got a bit of wind too. Hocking got the, the tap out there. Comes around the corner. Shock high. Stevens gets another possession. Racing through there. It's a nice work from uh, Joshy Kerno. Kick goes nice and long. Should have probably told that's got to be a mark. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Bowen turns around, just bangs it on his boot. It's going to beat everybody. He sits at the back there. Look out. Opportunity for wrong. If someone can jump on it, McMurray's there. Can't pick it up. Fell over his own feet in the end. Now it comes out the back. This kid's been good. Swings it round the corner. I reckon it might have been touched anyway. It was Kane Harris's kick that ended up in the arms of East Lodden. Oh, uh, young Angus. Yeah, it is indeed. Hang on. What's happened here? Oh, yes. This one's been uh, yeah. lacking in some departments. This one's bad. So, Gordy's young bloke will get the kick here. So Angus decides to kick it short. The kick was good too. So Rasmussen will go short again. Oh no, play on. I'm not sure that was not 15. Not 15. So they sit at the bottom of the pack. Stevens will give the ball back. So uh, Curtis Mang will ball it up. Yeah, Umpire's doing a good job so far. They will pick up those three kicks when there's a uh, three of them. Yeah, no, they don't miss too much. So the ball swings wide, trying to get a little handle on it there. Was oh, go. Comes out the back, little kick out of there. Oh, it's comes the wrong if it sits, but I reckon it's going to roll. Oh, oh, hang on, a bit of leg speed indeed. Thompson got around one little handball. He needed help, didn't get it in the end. Now he might, they're onto it. Here comes McMurray, gets on his right boot, kicks it long. I reckon he's kicked it, and he has. Jack McMurray brings him a goal closer, and that's what you have to do. So 5-5-25 five, five, plays 3-3-21. 5-5-35. I think it is, Coggy, yeah. when you went to three, three, twenty-one. Best three years of my life with you, ten of Whitehall's deck, mate. Yeah, no. I had to keep it down a couple of years, did they, mate? Yeah, I had to, mate. And no choice. <laughs> couldn't, oh, I couldn't get past the mathematics part. Oh, no, mathematics wasn't my strong point. It wasn't easy. That ball goes to no one. Up by says he's yeah. giving a free kick away. Okay, not sure why. Anyway, yeah, mate, seven off the top. Yeah. So, Mason Hocking being good today yeah, in the ruck and around the ground. Kicks it long, all wrong back there, and good mark in defence. So let's see what they can set up this time through Jetty Bird. Out to the right side. Kick is okay, just fell short. They're still playing the right side of the ground, aren't they? Yeah, Bowen was in there, comes out the back. All over their own feet. Bowen again in there, trying hard for Morong. Pick up by Hocking. Hocking again. Comes back, but it is all wrong. Couldn't take the mark in hand. Roberts. Don't blame you, though. That one goes over the top, Jetty Bird. Finn Climo has got the free kick. You can't miss him in that green helmet. No, kick goes back into the forward line. Swings a bit. Uh, good mark back there in defence. So there. He sits in defence. Now just kicks it back from where it came from. Who's there from the line? Oh, good mark. This kid's been good in the last five minutes. Lockie Bowen. Yeah. Swings it round the corner. It'll beat everyone. Oh, the run chase is on. Look out. Who's going to get their first? Can he get their first in bird? Good defence. He's sliding the seat across the line. Yeah, no, Two he backed himself there to try and cut that down. Did a good job. So, Lot Valley Football Netball League Grand Final for 2024. It's 14 points the difference. 
to the betterment of the East Lodden Rams over Rhyme. Rucks go at it, just sits up in the wind as a hood. I reckon that wind's got a touch stronger, to be honest with that. Yeah, might have straightened down the ground a little bit too, Colgate. So, so I'll pour about to do it again. Hockey got the tap, rolls across the, the side, had to pick it up. Umpires let it go, kick around the corner was good this time. Oh, 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 oh. So they'll get one. This goes through, Glenn. Whoa, whoa. On, uh, Lots sure. of flashing if this goes through. He's got to end up. Where's he going to kick this thing? Uh, what he's side? Going, he's going to kick it uh, half off the cross. He's going to set it up in the air unless he keeps it low. Right hand goal post. So Harry Mannix. He's about 30 out. You see that on the vision. The kick runs fourth. Kicks on its way. He's missed it. Yeah, it must have just stopped in the wind because yeah, he's put it out the right a bit side, but it hasn't come back. 5-5 five, five East Lodden roll, 3-4. We're only in the early stages of this last turn for the under-18 grand final for 2024. Runs a full distance, kicks it down towards our commentary here. In front, Hockey couldn't take the mark. Ground level to attack on Stevens. And it spills out of his hands. Turn around, little kick there by Thompson. No mark taken. A yeah, little kick off the ground, probably worked out okay. It's coming back from where it came from, from Jerky. He takes it across the line and I'll throw it back in. So, Vinokay versus Hocking. Playing a sight, isn't it? Maybe Vinokay? Yeah, I think so, that's right. So, Rucks go at it. Good tap from Vinicombe there, trying to get through, Hocking got it, comes to the back, got to kick it, had to handball it back, sits up in, that, in the wind and waits, little kick off the ground, going forward, and look out from the boys there from Morong through to uh, Kuno to Kerr, sits up in the wind, can anyone take a mark, should have uh, had a bit of a chat to each other there, oh that's hard. Maxi Lowry's been good, mate, last yeah. quarter and a bit. Yeah, mate. No, second quarter was dynamic. And uh, I think he's been there about all day from all. Let's see if he can put it in the right spot, Connor. So has he learned from the last Moron kick going forward? A trail. No. Oh, 13 points. Can he make it seven, Maxi Lowry? Kicks on its way. It's gonna swing the wrong way and it does. Well, it makes it two straight goals, the trail by Morong. 5 5 East Lot 35, Morong. 3 5 29. Seems to be, Cogger, uh, they don't get any uh, penetration with a kick and it floats. They don't get their, their kicking action right. The ball's floating. Of course, he's going to go back. He's going to make sure he stays square there. So, this will be Cunningham. You can hear that wind in the background. It's just picked up a bit too. Cunningham runs his absolute full distance there. Just bangs it towards our commentary side. Stevens is there. Murray, McMurray didn't take the mark. Runs it out. And they'll throw it back in exactly where the commentators want it. Yeah, that's right. Thompson doesn't bounce great. This kid's been good too for the rest oh, and for uh, the Rams. And this is a young bloke I don't have a lot of Anyway, kick's going to sit up in the wind. Good mark. Well, they've got some momentum here, Moron, through Kane Harris. Decides where he wants to plant it. Murray's back there. Can't take the bark as Lowry at the back there. Rolls forward. Geez, they're trapping it in this four line. He gets set up on, doesn't he? Told the rest of us, and yeah, he got a free kick out of it. Yeah, I know. You would not want to have anything windy today out at Midian. Go to Stevens, puts him under go pressure. Go He'll get there first, handball. In fact, it might work out okay. 
sit up and kick. Here they go again. Little King away was okay, but it ends up they couldn't be 15, you wouldn't have thought. Yeah, no, it wasn't 15. No. Max Gray to Thompson. So Thompson kicks it back. Good mark. This kid's been good in defence too, Tyler Yeah, you're right. We'll keep an eye on that. Kick goes back to the pack in front of us. Sits up nicely and rolls across the line. So they'll do it all again. Just about needs a hair tie, doesn't he, young Hancock? Yeah, no. Mighty jealous guy, I couldn't get past me collar. No, I didn't get it that far, but then, no, it was the 80s. Anyway, off hands again, rolls through a couple of sets of hands. Numbers with East Lord, and they kind of sit and wait for someone else to do it. That's a good tackle. Back again at ground level. Something, get something out of it. In fact, they do. Nice work by Kane Harris. Kick's going to have to sit. Murray couldn't get there. Comes towards the back. Little handball over. Sits it up at McMurray's feet. He's a big fella, so that makes it hard. Got oh, rid of it. Oh, oh, it. Oh, oh, no, it was, yeah, it was, it was a good, good decision. Kick comes out sideways. They've got to try and meet it. They couldn't take the mark there. It was Ketterer. Sits around. This bloke's been good. Harris just gets it on his boot. How's it going to bounce over the top of Stevens? Back uh, towards his teammate. Dirty was in there. His tackle is good. Boys just play on it. They fall over the top of each other. Right in front of our commentary here. Willing? No, we don't. 5 5 East Lodden, wrong 3 5. Two goals of difference. Plenty of time left last turn. Ram still got it. Comes back the other way. Nice work in here by Thompson. Kicking it forward towards the boundary line. Foot race on. Tui will get there first. Does. In fact, it takes it over the line. So 30 out from Long's goal. Glenn, they need one urgently. Yeah, they've got to get it uh, out of that centre for it all, Cogger. West Lodden going to defend. I'll get pushing out this side. So, ball about to be thrown back in.
takes a big boy with a mark, is it? Well, they're all big boys down there. I reckon it might be a 50 metre penalty here, too. It's it? uh, oh. expensive number one from the wrong. He's given the umpire a spray. So. It's amazing when it's a 50. I haven't seen this hockey run that quick down to the line when you realise you got 50. Yeah. So this is going to make it tough for the wrong footy club and the under 18s. A lot of discipline is the key in any junior footy, and unfortunately, it takes the wrong place. A little bit disappointed with the decision, but sometimes you've got to suck it up and you yeah, it. So Mason Hocking had a good game so far. This will help. Bangs it through. He's swatting. And you're going to be hard to, hard to get back from this point. Yeah, it's taken wrong about three and a half quarters to get the three goals and to pick up three now is going to be a bit of an effort. It's not beyond them, Goggo. No, that's true, it's not. I have had the momentum in the last quarter, I really have, and I just haven't put on the board. So back to the middle. You might have five minutes left, I reckon, right? I did take the time before, Gogo. Did you? I didn't actually get it. I reckon about five, maybe six at the most. But I'm not a very good judge. <laughs> a bit like your mask, Gogo. Yeah. <laughs> Don't ask me, mate. Yeah, that's still enough time yeah. if they're good enough. So, Ruck said again, Ramsell got the tap, comes out the back, they can go forward through Kerr, Morong that is, towards the forward line, it's going to beat everyone, Howes is going to bounce, big punch away was alright, but it's sat up in that wind, Big Murray got a little handle on it, now the chase is on, Maxie Lowry's in there, tackle on Tui, Tui was uh, a bit loose, yeah, again, it's coming back, it's just going to sit up, that's a good mark, nice work there by Bailey O'Neill, brings it back from where it came from, there's no one there for Morong. Sitting at the bottom of the pack is man who uh, should have probably just got a foot on it. The handball and hope from Lowry was okay. Well, there's a free kick going. Sure, that's going to be hard. So it'll be a free kick. In the cameraman's way, he's going to smack me in a minute, Glenn. Yeah, no. Jimmy. Which is a wobbly old thing, sits up again. Got to get through the pack, some nice work. Got to be out on the fall of the corner. I think so from Climo, and he's. Yeah, it's nearly out of the fence and nearly the pyramid hill, I think, that one. So, again, Morong, another forger into the forward line. Comes out the back, little handball in home more than anything. Tackle was good. Now they're coming to me. So we've got a few issues in around the corner. So it's young Adlon that's um, So it's got his brow and says, let's get on the boys. We've got a flag to win. So Adlon. Just kicks into the pack, coming forward, no one really wanted that, little handball over the top, punched away by Hocking, coming in to meet it now, needed to kick it, Thompson does so, the kick's wobbly, he's going to go back the other way just about, good work, good hands in there, you can get there first, Wagner taps it on, good tackle too, I've been hanging on there. so it'll be a free kick. Coming back to Morong, now it's going to come back again, so Harry Mannix is going to have to do it all again. He's going to go beyond his mark. A lot of players tend to do that nowadays. Yeah, they do. They yeah. do just stand off their mark and the umpire wants to pull them back in. He's got the right to do that. So it's been a good game so far. Yeah, no, it has. And uh, it's just decided that it's adapted to the conditions better and maybe, uh, maybe discipline's come into it too. So Mannix finally kicks it, floaty old thing, goes towards the middle, couldn't take the mark back there. It's Thompson now gathers up, butters up his own kick, bounce over the top. Lowry and Tui, let's see who gets there. Tui gets there first, does the defender thing, rolls it across the line. Are you all happy with that, I would have thought? Yeah, no, he plays a bit like his old man, doesn't he? Very defensive. Um, he's had a good game, too. He's okay, too. I'm back on the last one. Just keep the ball in front of you, don't you? Job. So ball thrown back in. Big Ramsell got the tap, came out the back. Oh, 
clear how long though for coming forward just had to get a little kick on it might be downfield in fact it is so it's going to be from where he is at the moment is it yeah no, it'll be in the forward pocket where the ball landed it's just much with interest need to be quick though so let's see what happens here be a great deal of time left left. No, I wouldn't think so, maybe just 20 minutes. Leaves it to land. Kicks on its way. I read he's kicked it. He has. Well, they needed it. And we'll come to uh, the young fella that was tackled late in uh, Kepler Thompson there, so mark that down to him, but it's a kick. They've got to get two within about a minute, I reckon. Couple minutes. Okay. Um, we'll see, Cogo. You might be closer than me. Well, I'm only guessing, mate. That's what I've done my whole life. Oh, no. Uh, no, I wasn't guessing that. That is it. So the East Rams have won the premiership for 2024. A bit of history being made here. Uh, Coming to the comp a couple of years back, there's a comp mine, and they still are. And that's a big win. Uh, no, that's a great effort from uh, all the organisers of that. Uh, Rams and the local community and um, yeah, I think they've got a lot of happy campers up here tonight, Cogger. Yeah, I've got a feeling. Well done to Milan though, had a crack one day. And uh, no doubt there'll be some hopes for the fan of being drunk tonight. Also, ASQ Garden World, and not forgetting Inglewood District's Community Bank, Spendigo Bank. So, the winners, East Lawton, 6-5, defeated Wrong, 4-5. What a start to the day, obviously, as we can see and feel. Very tough conditions for footy. Uh, I think it's a credit to both sides, uh, the way they performed. Obviously, hard to score, and... Um, to, uh, to have a game finish that close is a really good start to the rest of the day. So well done to uh, both Morong and East Lodden on their performance in today's grand final. A round of applause for the boys. You'll hear it uh, as a sentiment throughout the day, but of course we cannot have a game of footy without the uh, amazing contribution of our uh, umpires and officials. So on behalf of the Lodden Valley Football Netball League, we've got uh, board member Rick Swan here to present medallions to our goal, our central and our boundary umpires. So if we could ask you all to uh, come forward and collect those, please, guys. Once again, a, a massive thank you to our officials, our umpires, for today's under-18 grand final. 
Uh, Rick's going to help us out uh, as well with the awarding of the AFL Vic Country Best on Ground Medal for this Under-18 2024 Grand Final. And the recipient for today's match from East Lodden, number 22, Liam Stevens. <laughs> coming out. Uh, so competitive uh, all day. Just you really gave it to us. I was a bit nervy at the end, but uh well done East Lodden and Jade. Last match but uh, an unbelievable coach all year tactically and I just want to thank the league for putting on such a great day and Serpentine, Midiamo and Calibur for letting us use your facilities all year. You've been you've been great so thank you very much. <laughs> well done Liam all right, before we uh, present East Lodden with their premiership medallions, I'd like to invite uh, uh, the coach of Moronga, that we've got co-coaches, Paul Thompson and Riley Taylor, just to uh, come forward, uh, if we could get one of the guys to, uh, to say a few words on behalf of Morong. First of all, uh, East Lawton, well done. Um, always good when we play you and turned it on for the couple of finals and, and got the better of us. But um, it's been actually really good to have some competitive footy and, and you've, you've made a real, real good go of it. Love what you're doing, promoting junior footy sort of in the region. So yeah, well done to Jay and, and everyone involved. Um, to our boys, um, great year. Um, obviously couldn't get it done today, but should be really proud of what you've done as a team, um, how you've worked together and how, you, how you've grown. Um, really well done there. Stick together today, um, sort of celebrate the year. Um, thanks to the, um, the Lodden Valley Footy League, the umpires, everyone involved in, in getting it done. Um, couldn't be done without you. Um, and again, well done to East Lodden. Thanks, Tom. All right, now to our, uh, our Premiers and to receive their Premiership medallions. Uh, we have uh, one of the great names from the league here in Andrew Fremantle to uh, help us uh, with that. Uh, Lund Valley Football Netball League board member as well. So thanks, uh, Andy. Always greatly appreciate your time. Uh, we will try and roll down in numerical order as best we can. It's a bit jumbled, but we'll go with it. Uh, starting with number two, Kyan Maxted. Yeah. Number five, Max Gray. Yeah. Number seven, Jake Smith. Yeah. Said we're a bit jumbled, but we'll get there. Number six, Oscar Malik. Number eight, Angus Adlam. Number nine, Lachlan James. Number 10, Kay Tui. Eleven, Tyler Rasmussen. Number 12, Joseph Ketterer. Number 13, Brody Wagner. Number 14, Mason Hocking. Number 15, Ned Cartwright. Number 16, Finn Climo. Yay! 
Number 17, Aidan Ralston. Number 19, Harvey White. Number 22, Liam Stevens. Number 23, Patrick Cunningham. Number 24, Mitchell Hancock. Number 25, Mark Green. Number 27, Noah Ramskill. Number 28, Blake Doughton. Number 30, Will Josie. the coach of your 2024 under 18 Lawn Valley Premiers, Jay Climo. Say a few words for us, if you could, Jake. Yeah. Uh, first of all, Morong, um, we build up this little thing in our head that oh, we want to hate them and they're they're evil and that. Unfortunately, they're a great bunch of blokes. They've got great coaching, so all of that's gone and dusted. They're a great group of kids. So good on you, Morong. Well done. Woo! To these fellas, we come in all we come in all sizes, short and big and. Huge and small, and we get the job done. Um, I couldn't hope for a better bunch of blokes. Um, they give their all, they turn up the training, and they do their best. So it, all, all rewards to them. Well done to them. Yeah! And to the, to the start of the Rams, there's, there's three communities, there's three clubs that that all part of this, and it's been a real eye-opener. It's a bit like the Morong thing, you, you grow up and, oh, they're evil and they're evil. And it, it's been a real eye-opener. There's some really good people around those clubs and they've done such a great service for us and we're so lucky to have them and probably vice versa. So, thank you, everyone. Thanks, Jade. Well said. All right, well, the last thing to attend to on behalf of the Fremantle family, we've got Andrew here to present the Ron Fremantle Cup, the Premiership Cup for your under-18 champions of 2024, and that is East Lodden. Well done, boys.